Fantasy Heavyweight Division Collision. back for more here tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the com he loves the combat he loves the engagement but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 251 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Kelly. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Grinthy, we're losing the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. We're on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. And now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Right hook to the head block. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, that's a good strike there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. See if he 
can follow up. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise. Oh. Seconds now to go in round one. I need you to move. Scramble. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Final minute. Get your hands up higher. Come on. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Unable to find oh, 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 the top. This fight's gonna be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the front of him going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. And there comes the separation now. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed. Nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. of strikes there by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. Nice kick there by Lee. Right hand and a left. Oh, big head kick there. Three minutes to go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch there by Lee. Real sneaky by the kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Nice body kick. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just unable to quite find that range. Kick blocked. 
And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. That kick was blocked. A nice display of technique by him there on the side kick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Punch is blocked. That guard or this is gonna be the end of the fight. I mean, it's gonna be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice. Nice. jab by him there and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing he's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time that jab is fast look at that jab well it's all pace and pressure down the stretch he is really lighting him up now Just out of range with that right hook. 20 seconds left. Throws the right hand there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Oh, kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head 
kick he did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got a good bad. Kelly's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Nice punch land over the top. It's a nice back and forth action here. Had him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Ooh, blocks the shot. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Leg kick checked by Lee. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Lee's has got full mount now. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. from the top here by Lee. <laughs> 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect, and that one landed perfectly. Big roundhouse now just misses. Of strike there by Lee. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the. Oh. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt? Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Knee to the body. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Knee to the body. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time.
big punch land. Ooh. All right, well, fatigue is certainly a factor here down the stretch. He is losing the fight. He is completely out of gas. I mean, he's been outclassed. He's taken so much damage. He threw everything he could to try to survive, but now he's completely out of air. And it's only a matter of time. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big body kick. Big head kick land. One minute to go in the fight. Big punch lands through the middle. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Still nice body kick lands. Nice right hand. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon. So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless.